Look at her. Oh, Raja. You know, I don't know Raja all that well, but I, she is, um, I've admired her. I don't relate to her at all, in a way. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? She's somebody that like, um, although she's very personable, super nice, really down to earth, but I, she's like, she's so, she has that like effortlessly stylish, um, she's like a dandy kinda. Mm -hmm. She's like a dandy, she's like, um, she's someone I would call eccentric. Um, with a refined and like world weary old um, bohemian artistic sensibility, you know? Right. Um, and she's, uh, I feel like I would not be surprised to see her like thriving in the, in the village in the 70s, the East Village. <laughs> yes, you know what I, I mean? Agree, totally. Yeah, or the 60s or whatever. I think she'd like that too. Yeah, yeah. And um, but yeah, I, she's so cool. And I'm like, I, I'm sure that I would love to hang out at her house. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm, I mean, I don't smoke wacky weed, but she, um, I bet her house is like beautiful and like intricate and um, yeah, she's like has that rare it factor that kind of like oozes um, artistic sophistication, even though that sounds pretentious, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And she has um, a tiny little penis, but she knows exactly what to do with it. Look at her! <laughs> Last but not least. Yeah, my uncle. Mama. Bob. Yeah. You're not my mother. You're my father. No, it's, You're it's my true. Mother. And I've always had, I've always had like strong, very um, significant female role models in my life, like mm -hmm. from really early age. You know, my mother and then teachers and then professors, but she's like the culmination of it. Like I, then I started to have male ones and now it's like male and female. She's like the, the alpha and the omega, you know, the, the, the breadsticks and the salad. She just brought it all back to Olive Garden. And um, she is like probably, I don't know. I mean, I'll tell you what, it should be a, should factor in heavily to an acceptance speech at the Oscars. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. she's a very important person in my life. Not that I would ever win, you know, maybe for like best key grip or whatever, but like, you know, she, uh, oh my God, I love her. And I know she's, I know sometimes perhaps she's problematic. I don't care. You know, um, problematic like what? I don't know. Some people don't. You know, she gets criticized. I, she's not immune to criticism, about, right? Like she's nobody a heavenly is. Buddha angel, but right. you know, she's human. And that's like that is the that's the the unique feature of humanity is that we can strive for enlightenment and also, you know, uh, not do it perfectly. You know, and it's anyways. She is. Uh, she what a legacy. Yeah. I mean. If you look up legacy in a dictionary in West Hollywood, it'd be a DVD of her like in the 90s, you know? <laughs> yeah. And um, she's just like, uh, oh, and people are like, does she really look good in person? I mean, I think she looks even better, which I'm not trying to like stick my nose up her ass. Like, seriously, it's like, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. And I know the lighting, she's meticulous with the lighting, but it's like, you look at her and you're like, is that thing human? <laughs> <laughs> and can it kill me and will it? Um, I mean, it's, she's like, oh, but this though, she like, the, the most jarring thing about Drag Race, so if I'm you, Amanda, um, and I'm, no, you're me, and I'm Rue, um, it's like this, you're on the main stage and she's asking you a question, she's like, Katya, what was the most challenging part of this challenge? And you're like, well, why, why isn't she looking at me? And it's so, it's so crazy because she's looking at her camera right. because you're making a TV show. Right. And it's not about you becoming best friends with RuPaul. So it's like, it, that takes a while to kind of adjust to. Yeah. You know, um, so she's very, you know, it's very business, um, but to just to be like in the same room, of her, room with her is like, you know, it's like electricity or whatever, or like gas. <laughs> I think we'll leave it on that note. Katya, you've done a wonderful job. Thank you. You looked at all the hugs. Please come to Lady Red, shaking her head, confused still. What is going on? <laughs> Katya, thank you for being thank here. Thank you for having oh, we me. We love you so much. You're you. such a delight. Erica, thank you for looking so weird. You are very welcome, and that was... Amazing. What, what a journey. I have a, what a journey. I have a suggestion really quick. Okay. So you know how Paul Schaefer um, had like funny glasses every episode? Yeah. Um, you could do something like that, but just not glasses. I don't know what. Just food for thought. That ain't okay. enough. All right.
<laughs> I'll take no, it I mean, under like, advisement. Like every, it's like a, you know, every week is something different. Like maybe the color on your neck is like a different shade. Oh, it will be. Trust me. Okay. Oh, it will be. <laughs> it will be. Well, thank you everybody for watching this delightfully bizarre episode of Look It Up. Woo! And thank you, Katya, for being thank here. You yeah. Thank you, Lady Red. Thank you, Erica. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you on the next episode of Hey Queen and uh, Look It Up. Ha, ha, ha.